أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر كبيرا والحمد لله كثيرا وسبحان الله العظيم بكرة وأصيلا لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعده ونصر عبده وأعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه مخلصين له الدين ولو كره الكافرون اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أنصار سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى ذرية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله لا إله إلا الله اللهم لك المصر اللهم رب هذه الدعوة التامة والصلاة القائمة 
آتی محمد الوسیلة والفضیلة وبعثه مقاما محمودا الذي وعدته انك لا تخلف المیعاد او اللہ Lord of this perfect call perfect by not ascribing partners to you and of the regular prayer which is going to be established give Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the right of intercession and illustriousness and resurrect him to the best and the highest place in paradise that you promised him of then my intercession for him will be allowed on the day of resurrection You want to hold this? Who's going to collect? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. A very happy Eid Mubarak to everyone from Britain's first mosque. Alhamdulillah, we have been very successful in doing three Eid prayers today in the back garden of Britain's first mosque in the open air. Those brothers who came, they literally have followed the guidelines by the book. I want to thank them for being patient and following the rules at the same time. May I remind everyone that Eid is a special blessed day for us. It's a day of connecting with our families, with our elders, with our relatives, friends. So if you haven't done so, please do ring up your parents, your friends, and the people you've never spoken before, or the people you may have some sort of animosity or any types of bad feelings. Today is the day to make that feeling well. Do give them a call and say Eid Mubarak to all, and that will clean the slate for you. As Britain's first mosque, we are really proud to preserve the historic mosque here in Liverpool, the Abdullah Kulla Masjid. We are going to ask for a very special appeal to everyone. We want to buy the next door building, which is the extended part of Britain's first mosque. It's up for sale. We have raised a substantial amount of money, but we are short of 300,000 pounds. Brothers and sisters, it's only 300,000 pounds. And if we can have 300 people giving 1,000, job is done. But what we really want 
is not 300 people to give 1,000, is everyone to give at least 100 pounds. So everyone has a share in building the house of Allah. Remember, building the house of Allah is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will build a house like for you in paradise. So do not lose that opportunity. We spend a lot of money on toys, cars, and many other materialistic things. But do we really think about something for us for the Yawm Al-Qiyamah? Here is the opportunity for you to donate what you can and be part of the Sadaqah Tuljariya. Now, if you pay a thousand pounds, as if you become a founding member, a lifetime member of the House of Allah, the Abdullah Kulla Masjid. Please pledge a thousand pounds today. You can pay in installments or you can pay how you like. That's not the issue. The issue is make a pledge and make a promise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you are safeguarding his masjid. Again, you can have a plaque in your name and the name is not to show your name off, but it's to leave the name forever. So people who come to the masjid will be able to see your name and pray for you when you leave this dunya. Jazakumullah khairan for all your beautiful donations throughout the years and months. We still have got a long way to go to rebuild Britain's first mosque. And I hope everyone listening here and people on the World Wide Web who are listening to me will come forward. Go to our website. The details are there. The details are on the screen as well. And be part of building, rebuilding Britain's first mosque. At least pay a hundred pounds today to make that contribution. And again, I would like to say after the prayer, please all brothers in the building, can you make your exit to the front gate as you did in the Eid prayers? And nobody should go through the front and carry a shoe. When you do go out of the building, make sure you are not crowded on the streets and you do uh, maintain social distance. If you are praying in any of the other masjid in Liverpool, make sure you wear gloves, mask, and you take your prayer mat with you and a carrier bag for the shoe. The COVID is on the rise in Liverpool, especially in the South area, likes of Princess Park Ward. So be extremely careful if you go to shops, wherever you are going. This is a killer disease. It could attack anybody. So do not be, compl compl com do not be complacent about it. Jazakumullah khairan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us all safe and well. Again, Eid Mubarak to everyone. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح 
حي على الفلا الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله ونستهديه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له شهادة نرجو بها النجاة يوم اللقاء وأشهد أن سيدنا ومولانا وعظيمنا وحبيبنا محمدا عبد الله ورسوله وصفيه وخليله خير نبي أرسله أرسله الله بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين وعلى أصحابه الغر المحجلين ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين وعنا معهم برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين أما بعد يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون ويقول النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم اتق الله حيثما كنت وأتبع السيئة الحسنة تمحها وخالق الناس بخلق حسن فأوصيكم أيها المؤمنون أوصيكم ونفسي المذنبة الخاطئة بتقوى الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الهج هج محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها فإن كل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أعاذني الله وإياكم من النار On this blessed day of Eid the day of Jum'ah being the Eid as we rejoice and as we celebrate we need to stop and think. Alhamdulillah. In the morning we had four, four Eids. And mashallah, even despite the lockdown, good numbers turned down. But the Jum'ah, but the Jum'ah, there's virtually nobody here. And even though you have some ahadith that indicate the permissibility of um, of people staying away or praying one of them on the day when the Eid coincides with the Jum'ah. And even though we honor and respect Imam Ahmed ibn Hanbal, whose opinion is that it's allowed, but Jumhur al-Ulama, the majority of the Imams of guidance, they say that the Eid remains as well as the Jum'ah. And if we were to use a bit of common sense, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ And the Qur'an was revealed, Qur'an and Arabian, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ the Quran was revealed in Arabic in order to open up our minds, to open up our minds in terms of revelation. 
al eid sunnah on the view of the majority eid is sunnah if you didn't want to come you missed the eid prayer because there's no blame according to most of the imams whereas jum'a is fard above the fara'id al khams jum'a is a fard above the fara'id the five obligatory prayers so if you use a bit of common sense this should be packed out but I mean, we, we've lost our sense in religion. Like for us, this is just a day of celebration. We don't do anything we want to celebrate. We don't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to celebrate. And when we do come to celebrate, we do it all wrong. When we do come and celebrate, this is our real celebration, Salat al-Jum'ah. This is the real celebration. So inshaAllah ta'ala, next Eid or the Eid after or whenever, if the Eid coincides with the Jum'ah, prioritize your Jum'ah. There's nothing like Salat al-Jum'ah. This is... Uh, Eid is not even mentioned in the Quran. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu idha nudiya li salati min yawm al jumu'ati fas'au ila dhikrillah wa dharu al bay'a. We've been ordered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to come to Jumu'ah. But inshallah, most of the Muslims in Ma'adhurin were excused, not because of, because of the lockdown. So inshallah, there's some, there's some valid grounds now to argue that maybe, maybe it's not as much of a problem. But if we use a bit of common sense, and common sense not based upon my aql, based on Quran and Sunnah, based on Quran and Sunnah, and you understood the rank of Jumu'ah, you'd make a point of coming to Jumu'ah and you'd miss to eat Salah. Now you'd understand that's the Salah. There's no Salah like the Jumu'ah prayer. Walhamdulillah, for those who came in the morning and those who came again, Nurun ala Nur. Yahdillahu li nurihi man yasha. Is light upon light to we'll fulfill the great sunnah of Salat al ayn and now we're able to fulfill the great obligation of, of Jumu'ah. And inshallah, the rest of Ma'adhuri, they're all excused because of the situation that's taken place. On this day of Eid, which is ultimately Jumu'ah, that's the Eid, we remind ourselves of the states that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about. لِيَذْكُرُوا اسْمَ اللَّهِ عَلَى مَا رَزَقَهُمْ مِنْ بَهِيمَةِ الْأَنْعَامِ فَإِلَاهُكُمْ إِلَاهٌ وَاحِدٌ فَلَهُ أَسْلِمُوا وَبَشِّرِ الْمُخْبِتِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَالصَّابِرِينَ عَلَى مَا أَصَابَهُمْ وَالْمُقِيمِ الصَّلَاةِ وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ Today, right now, Across the world, we're having adahi being sacrificed. We're having qurbani, udhiya being sacrificed across the world. When we look at the sacrifice, what we should understand, number one is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us. Use our intellect in line with revelation. And we've become shadows and all shells of what it means to be Muslim. Because why? We've lost our identity, which is there revealed in the Quran. The Quran is our identity. A Sunnatul Mutahara is our identity. That's what defines us. That's what shapes us. We celebrate because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And our minds and our understandings come from Allah and the Messenger. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us every single nation from Adam alayhi salam to Nabina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, this was part of their way. Every single nation from then up until now, up until Yom Al Qiyamah, a sacrifice has taken place. Ibrahim he had the greatest of all sacrifice. He was told to sacrifice his own son. And he was willing to do it. And because of that, we now, we now have the Adahi and the Qurbani. But it started with Adam. But ultimately, ultimately, all of these. Now you're going to start saying, like, why, why do I even need to sacrifice and what's the point of it? Now we've got some absurd things like you've got this Muslim vegan, vegan sacrifice and vegetarian sacrifice, qurbani, which and if you used a bit of common sense, like if, you, if a bit of common sense was used, like, don't you have any brains? Don't you have any sense? Like, how can you have a vegetarian sacrifice? How can you have a vegan sacrifice? From the time of Adam Islam, when his sons Habil and Qabil, they were required to sacrifice an animal. And even if we feel 
that hold on, there's too much meat that's getting slaughtered and it doesn't really mean anything anymore. I'm missing the point that there's fuqara and masakin everywhere. There's everywhere there's people who need that. But even with that, فَإِلَاهُكُمْ إِلَاهُ وَاحِدٌ فَلَهُ أَسْلِمُوا Your God is one God, so submit to Him and accept what He says because that's where your aql comes from. I leave your own thoughts and leave your own intellect and leave your own mind on the, on, outside the door. Enter into the door of the Qur'an. Enter into the door of the Sunnah. And whether you get it or not, إِلَاهُكُمْ إِلَاهٌ wahid. You have one God. And that one God from Adam Islam down to Nabina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he ordered us that we sacrifice. And so we do it willingly. We're not going to start saying, this don't make no sense to me and I don't get what's going on, so I'll give a cucumber away and that's my qurban. I'll give a... فَإِلَاهُكُمْ إِلَاهُ وَاحِدٌ فَلَهُ أَسْلِمُوا أَسْلِمُوا لِرَبِّكُمْ Surrender to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's where our izza comes from. That's where our honor comes from. Not like people who say, I don't need to come to Jum'ah because of Dumma'i Eid. فَإِلَاهُكُمْ إِلَاهٌ وَاحِدٌ فَلَهُ أَسْلِمُوا Submit to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And those who submit, بَشِّرِ الْمُخْبِتِينَ And why do we do tawaf around the camera? It don't make no sense to me. It doesn't matter. إِلَاهُكُمْ إِلَاهٌ وَاحِدٌ فَلَهُ أَسْلِمُوا Why are we stoning the jamarat? It doesn't matter. You don't get it, it doesn't matter. فَلَهُ أَسْلِمُوا And why, why am I praying three rak'ahs? Why is it Jum'ah's two rak'ahs? Why with Eid? We had the Salah and then the Khutbah, now we're doing the Salah, the, we had the, now we're doing the Khutbah and then the Salah. Why is it being switched around? فَلَهُ أَسْلِمُوا وَبَشِّرِ الْمُخْبِتِينَ Submit to the Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala and give glad tidings. You want Eid? You want Eid? Bushra? Hani'an lakum? Congratulations? Glad tidings if you're from the mukhbiteen. If you're from those who humble themselves in front of the Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-mukhbiteen, al-mutawadi'een, al-munkasireen, amama rabbihim. Those who humble themselves, those who submit themselves in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Afan, sorry. Sorry, brother. Can you leave that, please? Leave that. Don't talk during the khutbah, please. Wa bashir al Humble yourself. You want to eat? There's the four descriptions from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want to celebrate? You want glad tidings? Humble yourself, number one. الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ And when you said, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, did it touch your heart? Or is it just words that don't really mean anything? Like takbirat. When you listen to the Qur'an being recited, did it touch your heart? وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ Heart is shaking. When Allah is mentioned, if you, can, if you can truthfully and honestly say, when I hear the takbirat and when I read the takbirat, and there's another example, we only do takbirat for five days, up until Monday after Asr. Why not do it after? Why not do it before? Falahu aslim. You submit to him subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you don't get it, this is what's going to raise you. This is what's going to honor you. This is what's going to open up your minds. Submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Did your heart shake and tremble when you, when you said, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar? Did you feel something in your heart? Or has your religion become so monotonous, so ritualistic, that it, it's lost any sense of purpose? Is that, is that what religion is? How we just become shells, that it doesn't really mean anything anymore. We do it because we need to do it, but because once it becomes a shell, you lose it. You lose it. Once it has no meaning, once when you hear Allahu Akbar, it doesn't stir something in your heart. You don't feel something in your heart. It, you begin to lose something essential of what it means to be Muslim. These are the people that they're the ones who are celebrating Eid. When they say Allahu Akbar, it shakes something in their heart. Who are these people who truly, truly can enjoy the Eid? Those who are patient at whatever Allah throws in, in their path. Whatever Allah throws in their way. The good and the otherwise, they understand He's the Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. They don't complain about Him. So if you're, if you're happy in times of difficulty, and you're happy in times of goodness, because you, you, you know it's all from Him subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you're suffering in your life, and you're still radhi billahi ta'ala, you're still content with Him, 
you're, you're the one who can celebrate Eid. You're the one who can celebrate Eid. وَالْمُقِيمِ الصَّلَاةِ And those who establish the prayer. Establishing the prayer, قَبْلَ الصَّلَاةِ وَفِي الصَّلَاةِ وَبَعْدَ الصَّلَاةِ During the prayer, before the prayer, their hearts are present with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. During the prayer, their hearts are present with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And after the prayer, their hearts are present with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ تَنْهَا عَنِ الْفَحْشَاءِ وَالْمُنْكَرِ وَلَذِكْرُ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرِ They understand. Al-Muqeem is salah is not something who just bounces up and down. Just bounces up and down like the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa compared those who delay their salat al-asr until the very end time. They pray salat al-asr 10, 5 minutes before maghrib coming, just rushing through. يَنْقُرُونَ كَنَقْرِ الدِّيكِ لَا يَذْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا they're pecking the ground like a rooster. Just like a chicken going up and down. Just pecking the ground. Like that's the type of prayer that Tilka Salatul Munafiqeen. The Prophet said, that's the prayer of people of nifaq, of people of hypocrisy. You want to be from those who can truly say that today is Eid and every day is Eid? I experience the reality of prayer before, during, after. And the fourth quality, وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ be generous with what Allah's given you. Because we gave it to them, they spend. We gave it to them, they spend. If that's your nature, Bashir al Give glad tidings to those who humble themselves. You are the one who's entitled to celebrate Eid. We all celebrate Eid. Imtithalan lin Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We all celebrate Eid. Fulfilling and following the way the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But there are some who understand what Eid really means. And they are those who when they say Allahu Akbar, their hearts shake. They are those who are patient whatever comes their way from Allah. They are those who experience the reality of the prayer. They are those who are generous with what Allah has given them. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahi ar-rahman ar-rahim wa idha qurit al-Qur'an fa-istami'u lahu wa ansitu la'allakum turhamun barakallahu lana wa lakum fi al-Qur'an al-Azim ونفعنا وإياكم بالآيات والذكر الحكيم إنه سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين من كل ذنب فاستغفروه فيا فوز المستغفرين استغفر الله الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد Great Imam of the Salaf Imam Jalil Al-Azim Sayyidina Al-Hassan Al-Basri رحمه الله تعالى ورضي عنا وعنه Imam Hassan Al-Basri He was asked a question about Eid أي يوم عندك عيد what day is Eid with you? Uh, these are people who understood Allah and His Messenger. These are people who experienced Allah and His Messenger. These are people, the Quran gave them aql. The Quran gave them true understandings. For him, Eid is not uh, coming to Eid prayer and missing Jumu'ah. That's not Eid. Eid is not missing Fajr and then celebrating in the morning. Missing Fajr, not even praying Fajr and then coming and celebrating. That's not Eid. His answer, أَيُّ يَوْمٍ عِنْدَكَ عِيدٍ كُلُّ يَوْمٍ لَا أَعْصِ اللَّهَ فِيهِ فَهُوَ عِيدٍ كُلُّ يَوْمٍ لَا أَعْصِ اللَّهَ فِيهِ فَهُوَ عِيدٍ He says, any day on which I do not disobey Allah, that is Eid. If a day passes morning to night, and Alhamdulillah Ta'ala, Alhamdulillah, you did not commit any haram. The women are going out there right now, they're half naked. And even when it's cold, they're half naked anyway. So you, you protect your eyes, you protect your tongue, you don't commit haram on that day, on that one day. You don't speak, there's no ghibah, there's no namima, there's no buhtan, there's no kathib, there's none of them. No lying, no backbiting, no swearing, no, none of them. You don't listen to haram. A day passes and masha'Allah ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has opened up that day for you. You fulfill your duty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you don't commit haram. That's when you need to celebrate. That's when you need to celebrate. But even with that, in the Amanu Aminu Salihati Lahum Maghfira. Lahum Maghfira. 
Why would Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, those who believe and do righteous deeds, they need forgiveness. So that even when you're not disobeying Allah, he will forgive. He, you still need forgiveness. Even when you're not disobeying, if a day is gone and you never committed haram, you still haven't fulfilled the right that Allah deserves of you. You still haven't done what Allah deserve, deserves of you. So if you have a real understanding, Eid al-Arifin, the celebration of those who truly know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is when they're told by the angels, Salamun alaykum bima sadartum fani'ma uqbadda. When Yawm al-Qiyam is over and done with and for you, it's like two rak'ahs and are you there at the door of Jannah? Are you come out of your grave? It's like two rak'ahs, because all of our prayers are like two rak'ahs, fast two rak'ahs. That's all of our prayers now. We just get it over and done with quickly. Two rak'ahs, that's most of our prayers. That can be Yawm al-Qiyam for... For the, for the fortunate, knocking on the door of Jannah, you're told, Salamun alaikum. Angel, Ridwan, tell you, enter, go inside, Salam alaikum, because you were patient in this world. That's Eid al arifin That's the real Eid. When you hear from the angels, it's not even the day when you haven't sinned, it's when you hear from the angels, Bismillah, go in, go in. You have nothing to worry about. That's the Eid, and that's what we're truly celebrating. So let's begin to change how we see. How we see reality. Celebrate what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. That's the order from Allah. قُلْ بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَحُوا إِفْرَحُوا بِرَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِفْرَحُوا بِفَضْلِ اللَّهِ Celebrate and rejoice because Allah has given you so much. He's made you Muslim. He, he's let you know. Celebrate that. Celebrate Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالِ وَبِرَحْمَتِهِ فَبِذَلِكَ فَلْيَفْرَحُوا Celebrate Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Celebrate the gift of your messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who said, Ana rahmatun muhda. He said, I am a mercy that's been given as a gift to you. Celebrate your connection to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And with that, then you have Eid, and then you will be able to rejoice with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusallun ala nabi. Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli wa sallim ala sayyidina Muhammadin fil awwaleen. وصل وسلم على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل وسلم على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين وصل وسلم على سيدنا محمد حتى ترث الأرض ومن عليها وأنت خير الوارثين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقن عذاب النار ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين عباد الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله استو استقيم واعتدل even though you've got gaps in your row, still make sure that the line is straight. Make sure that the line is straight. Try and straighten your lines. Turn with your hearts to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My son. Allahu Akbar. Shaitan. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'een Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqeem Sirat Al-Ladheena An'amta Alayhim Ghayr Al-Maghdubi Alayhim لله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وإن تبدوا ما في أنفسكم أو تخفوه يحاسبكم به الله 
فيغفر لمن يشاء ويعذب من يشاء والله على كل شيء قدير آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كل آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله لا نفرق بين أحد من رسله وقالوا سمعنا وأطعنا سمعنا وأطعنا غفرانك ربنا وإليك المصير الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين الله أكبر سمع الله لمن حمده الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Um, this concludes the Friday prayers. Please could everyone, all the brothers inside the masjid, come through the side doors so we make our exit to the back gate from the back garden. 
I'd like five people at a time to go so we maintain social distance and please we go very carefully. Do not congregate outside on the street. The other thing I wanted to say is that please make dua for the deceased, for the loved one who are no longer with us. Sister Sarah has asked for, to make dua for her mother who has can severe cancer and undergoing chemotherapy. So likewise, many people who are not well, please make dua for them on this special day of Eid. And also, don't forget to donate generously to the House of Allah, to the Abdullah Kulliam Masjid. Get everyone to donate something today. Today is the blessed day of Eid. It's the day of giving. It's the day of barakah. Make use of that barakah, inshallah. Inshallah, please do uh, maintain social distance at all time, wherever you go. I do want to say thank you, Jazakumullah Khairan, to our young chap who's been doing so much hard work throughout the month of Ramadan and also the Eid prayers, Hamza Abdul Hamid, the young lad who's been doing all the digital stuff for us on the internet and his dad, Dr. Abdul Hamid, and all the volunteers, Brother Sagar, Brother Suhel, Brother Farid, Atik, uh, Muhammad, Brother Muhammad, the Imam, and so forth. Brother Luqman, Sister Rehab, Sister Samaya, everyone who has helped us to make this day possible today where you are reading. Make dua for everyone who has helped this masjid. Make dua for all the people who have contributed towards the masjid. May Allah SWT accept and of course, Brother Muhammad, who has made the new member here in a in couple of hours yesterday, and, and Brother Fatah and everyone else who has helped. So please, please make dua for all. Inshallah, we'll meet again next Friday. Make sure you book on Eventbrite in Abdullah Kulyam. And then it's essential that you book online because without booking, you won't be able to enter the masjid. Jazakumullah khairan. A very happy Eid Mubarak from Britain's first mosque. Allah Hafiz. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illa Allah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd. Allahu Akbar, kabira, wa alhamdulillahi kathira. وسبحان الله العظيم بكرة وأصيلا لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعده ونصر عبده وأعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده لا وعلى آل سيدنا وعلى أصحاب سيدنا محمد وعلى أنصار سيدنا محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى ذرية سيدنا محمد وسلم تسليما كثيرا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله